A collaborative effort has allowed for Wi-Fi hotspots to be accessible for the Copper Country. Local 3's Peter Curry spoke with the organizers about the importance of keeping these communities connected. Um, you know, this isn't a, a replacement for someone's home internet. Um, this is just, you know, we're trying to step up and help those that don't have it now. In small communities, people talk. They talk about issues they all face together. And in a place like the Copper Country, one topic seemed to be discussed the most, internet connection. Really helped um, highlight the lack of resource that we have and the challenges, you know, everything from, you know, geographic challenges, geological challenges, um, service provider challenges. I mean, you know, there's a lot of barriers to, you know, the whole idea of connectivity within the community. And it's helping me understand um, to, a, to a small degree at this point, you know, what some of those challenges are and, and what role do we have as a foundation to, um, you know, to not only be, be part of that conversation, but can focus about what we do you know, moving forward from this with our community. The Portage Health Foundation, up.net, Peninsula Fiber Network and Regional Educational Media Center came together and started to address the issue at hand, showing the meaning behind Copper Country Strong. It's the small town community as people know each other and they, they have these conversations and how can we help, what can we do, and, and then it just builds and grows from there. So, you know, they were doing their thing, we were doing our thing, and it was very similar, and we were just able to join those together and, and expand it and make it uh, you know, more public and more, more awareness around it. Wi-Fi hotspots are located all around the Copper Country. From Alston to Calumet, there are currently 10 locations up and running. Organizers hope to have at least 30 over the next few months. We're about a, maybe about a third of the way um, into the installs right now. Um, and, and are hopeful that this might serve as a, a bit of a model for other rural communities as a multi-sector collaboration and trying to have uh, you know, a, a larger conversation about connectivity and the role that it plays in not only overall health of our community, but just the, the overall quality of life and um, access to information and communication resources that is needed in, in rural communities like ours. We want to hear from you in the community. Email us at news at upmarriage.com to tell us about how much this effort has meant to you and your family. Reporting from the Copper Country, I'm Peter Curry, Local 3 News.